Large kitchen equipment continued. Oh, you're back. That was so fast. I can fly sometimes. <laughs> anyway, you mumbled micro something while I was leaving for the shop. Microwaves cook food faster than normal cookers or ovens. Mm. The food gets cooked by high frequency energy waves called microwaves. Food molecules absorb the waves and vibrate producing friction and heat that gets the food cooked. Oh, that's some physics lesson there. You bet. Anyway, microwaves are very expensive and therefore you would be very careful with one if we had it. I see, but we don't have one so I have no idea how to take care of them. And you can count on me to help you with that. Mm. Now, while cooking with the microwave, use only plastic or glass containers for the food. No cooking pans? No cooking pan, since they are metallic and reflect the waves. Shut the door firmly before switching on the equipment. But in case the switch is broken, don't play hero. Mm. Instead, Consult a qualified technician to work on it. Just don't switch on the microwave when it has nothing inside. That's common sense. For energy conservation, I suppose. Splendid. When cleaning the microwave, use warm water and a piece of cloth. But never use any abrasives. Wow, Madam Scientist. That is a nice piece of information. However... People back in the village don't use microwaves or cookers. And you think I don't know about that? They mostly use oil and charcoal stoves. And oil stoves are the kerosene stoves. Yes. Some are designed to use wicks while others use pressure. But whether in the village or the city, the oil stoves need proper care and maintenance. Don't ask me. I have no idea how that's done. Easy. I was going to teach you anyway. Regular cleaning of the stove should be done with the cloth and hot water to remove the food stains. But still, thorough cleaning is needed. Mm -hmm. First, dismantle the stove. Wash and rinse the wicks in hot soapy water then dry well. When cleaning the kerosene tank, drain out all the paraffin and rinse with clean paraffin, but never use water. Because water and kerosene are immiscible liquids. They don't mix. Clever boy! Now, mind telling me something about charcoal stoves? We used to have one, remember? Yeah, I remember. Okay, charcoal stoves are locally referred to as Jikos. That's right. What I don't understand is why call them charcoal stoves when sometimes we use sawdust, maize cobs, or animal poop as fuel. <laughs> I am going to assume I did not hear that. Cheeky boy. Anyway, what you see today is a modification of charcoal stoves with an inner clay lining that acts to insulate heat and thus conserve fuel. And to maintain the inner wall, avoid spilling foods on the jiko. Got it. Can I cook now? One last thing. Refrigerators. Um, I know all about refrigerators. Try me. All right. Refrigerators are large kitchen equipment that are used to keep food from going bad. Which kind of foods, Jim? Perishables, like meat, fish, eggs, vegetables. That's it. That is all you know? Oh boy! Refrigerators are of two kinds, depending on the source of the energy that they use. Ours is an old compression refrigerator, since it is powered by electricity and has an internal motor that causes some noise and vibrations. But recent models don't make noises. They are cheaper to maintain since they freeze more rapidly. Hmm. And this recent model, 
What does it use as fuel? They are called absorption refrigerators and they use gas or paraffin and can be used in the village or anywhere where there is no electricity. But they are cared for in the same way, all right? Yep. Cover all foods in the refrigerator so that they do not absorb odors during storage. Hot foods should not be stored in the fridge as they reduce its efficiency. Mm. Do not leave the door of the fridge open as it may break. Plus, place the fridge away from cookers and even direct sunlight. Now go ahead and show me how to clean a refrigerator. Okay. Wipe any spilled foods and liquids. From time to time, remove all the contents from the refrigerator and clean all the parts with warm soapy water. Correct. Wipe all the containers and return them to the refrigerator. Defrost your fridge regularly to improve its work rate. Excellent. Now let's get to work before the guests arrive. Now you are talking. That's my boy. Go get the measuring cup. Hurry up. I guess I know what you want to measure. Water, of course. All right.